Caddis Maximus here. This time was a quick review of the Napa KD36790 harmonic balancer installation set. This is the more basic 12 piece set, although they do have a larger set, uh, like a 50 piece, which is also a set that Harbor Freight has knocked off. But this is just a more basic set that covers most of the general harmonic balancers that you would run into, both in Imperial and Metric. What's interesting about the 12 piece set is they don't include the 12 millimeter by 1.75 thread pitch. And I always thought, I actually bought this used and just thought it was missing a piece for a long time. I uh, noticed online that a couple others were missing. And to tell you the truth, I just, it took me forever to actually see this sticker that says this kit does not include the M12 by 1.75 adapter. So it must be pretty uncommon. These three adapters, the 12 millimeter by 12 by 1.5, the 14 millimeter by 1.5 and the 16 millimeter by 2.0 are going to cover most of the thread pitches on import vehicles. As far as the bolts that hold on the harmonic balancers, there's a bit more variation in domestics, and so they do have a few more sizes that include uh, 7 16 20, half inch 20, 9 16 18, 5 8 18, and 3 quarter inch 16. One thing I was going to mention is nicely they do stamp the sizes on each adapter so you're not uh, so it's easier to make sure that you have this the right one to get them in the right spot. It seems a lot of manufacturers when they make sets like these uh, the last thing that they're going to do is actually stamp the size on each of these little adapters and so that's definitely a nice touch. And I like that they do uh, chrome planing on the Imperial and black on the metric, so it's easier uh, just to grab them out. Oftentimes, with these kind of little sets, people don't keep them in the case because they're a little bit bulky, and they'll just have these, you know, just in a little, <laughs> essentially a little pile, and there's just not many parts to it. But they do include a nice little case. So before I should demonstrate how these uh, this works, I'm not going to do it on an engine because it's uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. And to tell you the truth, I should just show the instructions here. There we go. You can always pause it and uh, read those instructions. But what's really nice is that very few of these kits ever come with just a proper set. I wouldn't call those absolutely proper set, but they're somewhat proper. They even include the word proper. Uh, it's just a nice touch to have a little set of instructions just right with the set. That way, if you're a little bit confused or just wondering what's going on, you loan it to a friend, there they go. They will know how to essentially use this, the kit, although it's not very complicated at all. One disappointment I was going to say is I had there, I, I understand why this was being sold. This was actually pretty cheap at a garage sale. And the issue is, is that these, and I should mention this is how, how this works as well. Is, all these adapters have the same base thread on the back of them. And I believe that is a 9 16 18. No, it's not. It would be 5 8 18. Yes. So all these adapters have what appears to be a 5 8 18 thread. And that's what this bolt is. This pusher, or what would be considered a standard bolt for these types of installers, how it works is that one of these bits, we'll just demonstrate how it works and I'll mention it in a minute here, is you take, say this is the thread that the bolt uses that goes into the crankshaft. So the idea is you'd have this, you take and find this appropriate thread, you go ahead and screw it in there pretty tight, pretty far down, say about that far, till you just have about 3 eighths of an inch, 5 sixteenths. It comes with this little knurled collar and you'd actually take this knurled collar I had to redo that because that was too big. So on some of these you have to put the collar on, but that's basically or essentially a jam nut. So you take that collar, you thread this down, and then thread down the collar until that jams it a little bit. That way this doesn't want to turn or unscrew, and it's surprising, you can just put a, uh, it's nicely knurled, and you just put a little bit of finger pressure on there, and it locks this bolt into the end, or the adapter into the end of the main bolt. And then real easily you would just take, I can't do it that way, you would put in the nut here. You have a bearing that also goes under the nut. And then this is how the setup works. You would take this, you would put the harmonic balancer around this, then you would actually thread this into the end of the crankshaft. Once you've threaded that into the crankshaft, so notice that this just has two flats, it's not a hex. It's just designed to be held. And you would hold the bolt steady, and then you start turning the nut, and as you turn the nut, it has this large bearing that it rides against to reduce friction. And it actually, as the nut goes down, 
it tries to yank on the bolt, which it can't, so instead it pushes the harmonic balancer on. The last time I did a harmonic balancer, which was a uh, uh, an R50 Pathfinder, a 96 Pathfinder, uh, the harmonic balancer just slid right on. I didn't even need to use one of these tools. So not a, And not all vehicles do you need them. A lot of times they're really not quote-unquote press fit, but on some vehicles they are. And so it's nice to have this tool, and it makes it pretty easy. So that's essentially how this works. And we'll go and knock it apart here. It does have a nice big bearing in this KD. You can see how it's just filled up with balls. There is no cage, so that is nice. It's pretty high pressure. Uh, it's hit and miss because there's a big gap in there, so that allows crud to get in, but at the same time allows you to easily spray brake cleaner and clean it out real nice, blow it out with air, and then put more grease into it. So it's kind of hit and miss because these types of bearings, usually uh, you just can't service them, and when they wear out, they're just done. And so it's kind of nice that you can at least do something with this one. Now, the real issue I had with this Napa, and when, I ha and when I went to the store to look at some new ones, even though I bought this one used, the new one had the same issue. Now, I'll admit, it's been a few years since I've gone into Napa to do that. But my big issue, and let's look at the flashlight, is this right here. You can see that the, and let me zoom in a little bit, the threads inside this bolt are just horrible. Come on, focus. Now, you can see how flat that is and how there's... Let me get it this way. And how there's just any meat. That's the hole down the center of this bolt was just badly over drilled. It was over drilled, way oversized. Uh, either through a horrible drill bit or just a way oversized, uh, just too large a one. And so these fasteners here that are 5 8 uh, 18, barely hold on. They barely hold on in there. You can see how much this is wobbling around. I can thread that in a bit more is this wobbles around a, t a huge amount and so just the very tips of these threads are holding on so I always kind of worry about stripping out and I looked at another one it was a few years ago maybe Napa might warranty it now but uh, the couple that I looked at all had the same issue where that hole down the middle of it was just terribly stripped out and I don't know if that's partially intentional just to prevent since you're using a thumb screw to prevent it from wanting to get locked up too badly but unfortunately it would seem that if if you had the balancer just slightly cockeyed, or if it was just being stubborn and maybe you don't have it properly aligned with uh, the keyway, if it does have a key-driven harmonic balancer, uh, that would just yank this out and just totally ruin that bolt. And it was kind of surprising because Napa is, you know, charges a lot for their tools, and so to have a defect like this is, uh, quite frankly, very disappointing. And we know that it's not user error because there's still black metal in the flat, so it wasn't like somebody had... And it's all the way down. I mean, I don't know if you can really see. It's very hard to get an angle with both the camera and the flashlight. You can't really. I have to be right on top of it. Let's see if this works. Oh, it does. I'm using the integrated flashlight on the camera itself. And that actually works because it's close enough to the lens. So you can see down in there that it was just simply over drilled. It wasn't like uh, a bolt had been pulled out and was stripped or had stripped this due to user error. It was simply a pretty horrid manufacturing defect. And so that would be my general criticism. The little clips or little shortcuts there were because I had to turn on and off the flashlight for the camera. And actually that's a pretty handy feature. So anyway, if you ever see one of these sets, they're always kind of seemed odd to me until I finally understood what the heck they were. Um, and they're real obvious because they have these short, kind of really outsized, kind of fat little bolts and just a simple bearing and like what looks like the center pusher for a puller, uh, but it's missing parts. And that's actually what it's for is it just threads in the end of the crankshaft and then this, you know, stays steady and then you use the bolt and the bearing just to push the uh, harmonic balancer back on. So anyway, I wanted to do a quick review of this and kind of show people what these look like and then give my impression of the Napa KD, which is a slightly more expensive one. Napa does sell these and they average uh, about $65 or so, uh, which is actually quite a bit of money for a very simple set. And to have those kind of defects is a sore disappointment. And nobody looked at it in quality control because anybody who would have saw that who is doing their job would have failed that part, that's for sure. 
Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Catus Maximus out. Thank you.